event was the brainchild of one of our club members, Katie Scheidt, during a conversation we were having a few months ago at the Women's March. With all we face as a country lately, I thought Katie's idea was brilliant, not only because it would bring, oh, I missed my space, not only because it would uh, bring us to our community together around a common concern, but it could also highlight that we as a democratic organization can make our community a better place. While thinking about what to say today, I did some research on the short history of Earth Day. Here are just a few quick facts I wanted to share. The first Earth Day was celebrated on April 22nd, 1970, not that long ago. The 1970s saw the passage of the most comprehensive environmental legislation in U.S. history, including the Clean Air Act, the Water Quality Improvement Act, the Endangered Species Act, Toxic Substance Control Act, and Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act. In addition, just eight months after the first Earth Day, Richard Nixon approved the creation of a new organization tasked with monitoring the nation's natural assets, the Environmental Protection Agency. On the very first Earth Day, 20 million people gathered in the streets of America to protest the effects of the Industrial Revolution. An environmental movement was born as a result. In 1990, Earth Day expanded to include countries and peoples across the globe with 200 million people in 141 nations getting involved. Earth Day was renamed officially by the UN in 2009 as International Mother Earth Day. Every year on April 22nd, trees are planted, litter is cleaned up, and awareness for the issues plaguing the planet are raised in honor of this holiday, now in its 48th year. Since 2015, in preparation for Earth Day's 50th anniversary in 2020, a new environmental theme will be announced every year. This year's theme is End Plastic Pollution. From poisoning and injuring marine life to disrupting human hormones, from littering our beaches and landscapes to clogging our waste streams and landfills, the exponential growth of plastics is now threatening the survival of our planet. To learn more and see what you can do about it, visit EarthDay.org. You can also start right here at home by switching to reusable bags and giving up straws and using your own bottles for water. You are also welcome to join the Wayne Democratic Club and work with us to organize initiatives right here in your own community. One of my favorite quotes is from an environmentalist, David Brower, think globally, act locally. Today is both a celebration of our common home, but also a continued call to action to keep that home safe, healthy, and ready to sustain generations to come. At this time, I'd like to point out we have some guests in the crowd. Freeholder director, Sandy Lazara. Of course, congressional candidate, Mikey Sherrill. Our Democratic County Clerk candidate, Danielle Imhoff. Our wonderful mayor, Chris Vergano, who you will hear from shortly. And if I miss anybody, I'm sorry. Uh, with that, I want to thank the hardworking team who put this whole event together, our co-chairs, Katie Scheidt and Rolf Hennel. And Katie, I hand it to you. Woo!